Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to PowerPoint for e-learning content simplified. My name is Zed Ali Al Sagaf, and today we're going to show you how you can actually trim a video in PowerPoint. And that tool is pretty good. It's actually much better than most tools out there for the basic stuff. You want to trim a video, and you're using PowerPoint, might as well just trim it in PowerPoint. Okay, when you want to uh, select a video that you want to trim, you just select it. Another way is actually just to double click it. And once you double click or select, the video tools options or ribbon will, will appear. And automatically it will be on the format. So when you do that, you don't see the trim button. That's why probably most people don't know about the trim button. But you just need to click playback and then you get the trim button here. But before that, uh, you can actually uh, rec recommend it to play full screen if you want to have it the full screen option and start automatically. And also you can fade in and fade out the video to make it smooth coming in and smooth coming out. But what we're going to look at today is trim video. So let's click trim video. Once that happens, we see this nice dialog box and this is where all the stuff happens. And I tell you, it's much easier than most trimming videos apps out there. So if you just want to trim the video, do it in PowerPoint. And the best thing is when you trim the video in PowerPoint, you're actually not losing the video. It's just... What it is, you're trimming, so what you're going to see when you publish the video is, is that what's been trimmed. But you can always go back and untrim it, which is very nice in PowerPoint. So here, so I said I want to trim the video. So if I want to, from the beginning, I just take the green one. This is from the beginning. I'm deleting the, the front parts. Say I want to select, okay, here. If you want to be more accurate, you can actually go in here, or you can actually go inside here and milli, milli, milli seconds if you want to do that. And then uh, you can select here, maybe the way I want it to end. So say I want it to end here. This is perfect. If it's not perfect, you can always update here. And then you can check the preview. And you can double check until you're happy. And once you are done, you just simply click OK. And the video has been trimmed. And that's perfect because when you want to give a lecture, sometimes you just want to show a snippet. Or even if you want to publish as e-learning content as a PowerPoint video, you don't want to show the whole video within the video. You just want to show some parts of the video. And that's what you were able to do by using the trim video. Let's recap what we just did regarding trimming a video. So the first thing we need to do is to select this video or double click it. And once you do that, you'll get this video tools format and play by options. But it's automatically on format. So you don't see the trim video button which is why probably most people don't use it but you need to just click playback so i'll click playback once you click playback voila it changes and you got a lot of nice features here but we're just going to look at trim video so you click trim video and once you click trim video what happens the dialog box opens and this is a juicy dialog box and here you can see you have the you can use the green handle here for the start time when you want to start the video what you want to trim and then yes, the red handle is to select the end time for the video. You can do some micro micro adjustments here, either clicking these two buttons or you actually key in exact the milli millisecond that you want. And once that is done, you can actually preview here. This button is here. You can preview play button and a bit forward and a bit backwards. And when you're finally finished done, you just click OK. But the beautiful thing that I just want to repeat here is you're actually not deleting the video, just trimming it for presentation in your class or in your e-learning content but you can always go back and and untrim it if you want to that's really beautiful with it okay now you know to trim a video in powerpoint it wasn't difficult it's a good tool it's a very basic tool i love it it's so simple to use of course if you want to do more complex trimming like in the middle and so on then it's a problem but if you just want to trim the start point the end point and then present it either in your lecture or in publish the video within the video in your e-learning content PowerPoint does a pretty good job and the best part about it, if you want to go back and change the trimming later, you haven't lost the video, it just chopped a bit here and there, but it hasn't actually deleted the video. So that's the good thing about it. So all the best, have fun with it and thank you very much. I, I'm looking forward to see your trimmed videos. <laughs> uh, it's not like trimming the hair. <laughs>